How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse and in this video we have some stuff to unbox. Welcome back guys. So what I have here are quite a few cool products that I figure I'd go through one by one with you and been meaning to do kind of an unboxy thing because everyone else is doing it and I thought why not? Why shouldn't I do it? But I've got also some awesome news to go through with you as well. So let's start, I guess, with the, the smallest one, which would be this one. So this is the BPS 3D Printer Extruder. This is made by Bill's Prototyping Studio in Australia, and he sent me three of them. So let's have a look inside, let's see what it looks like. So the extruder itself is all CNC aluminium. There's no plastic parts anywhere on it, it's all metal. And it's a really, really nice looking bit of kit. So he sent through some spare nozzles as well with each one. He also sent me some experimental stainless steel nozzles, which are very, very interesting and I'm gonna be testing out too. And that's gonna take us to that parcel, but we'll get to that one. Anyway, the reason he sent three is he sent me some to give away. So stay tuned for that when I do a review because I will be giving away two of these extruders. One of them will be through a standard Gleam contest and the other one will be through a competition. You'll have to earn it. So that's really gonna be quite exciting and you'll see more about that soon. Anyway, moving on to the next package. This one, all the way from the States. Pretty small, pretty interesting. Wonder what's inside. Looks like uh, those sort of noodles you get, the, you know, the candy noodles, but that's filament. It's a hint. It's flexible filament, and there's the box. This, my friends, is the Flexion Extruder. This is an extruder designed specifically for printing flexible materials fast. It also has a little cleaner wheel, which is really unique. I've never seen that before on, a, on one of these extruders where you can actually clean the drive gear of debris while it's printing. So it's not something you have to do periodically as a maintenance thing. It's really quite innovative extruder design designed to extrude flexible materials really fast, faster than any other extruder by having a fully supported uh, guide all the way to the hot end. And I have to say the packaging is absolutely beautiful. So the guys at Flexion sent this to me like a month ago and it arrived literally like yesterday because Australia Post is so slow at delivering USPS ma ma mail. But there it is, it's designed to fit onto the Wanhao i3, so I will be testing that out. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how it performs. Cause I've got some flexibles like this one, which I've had for quite some time. And this is like noodle, it's so, it's so flexible. It's, it's literally like those, those candy, candy gummy noodles. And nothing, this doesn't work on anything basically. So I'm gonna get really keen to see how this goes on the Flexion. Next up, we have this which is from Hobby King. So I've been in touch with Hobby King. They actually saw my Fabricator mini video. And they said, hey Angus, we like your unbiased style. We wanna send you some stuff to, to do videos on. And that's, I, really, I think that's quite cool. So this is their metallic filament, basically their take on metallic filament. And if you whack into it, uh, I may as well crack it open. I'm gonna be using it. Rip it open. So this is their metallic filament, and first impressions, it's not the kind of metallic filament with actual metal in it. I think, by looks at, looking at it, it looks like that metallic effect filament that I've reviewed before. So that's good actually, because it means one, it's not gonna abrade, abrade your nozzle, and two, it prints really easily. It prints like butter, uh, PLA settings. So it doesn't say if it's PLA or ABS, but I'm going to bet it's PLA. And I'm gonna be testing this out on the CEL Robox and see how it goes. Next up, we have this box, which I've had for some time, but I haven't been able to do anything with because I haven't had a hardened nozzle. This is Proto Plants Proto Pasta. All right, well, we got some awesome stickers, of course. I print with Proto Pasta and all that good stuff. We have carbon fiber PLA. So this is the, the quite abrasive, but very, very stiff filament that everyone's been playing with that I have been wanting to get hold of for some time. Now I've got some, put that one there. And we also have 
stainless steel PLA. So that's the one that you can polish up. So Calvin over at Make It Calvin's been doing some great videos on polishing up stainless steel PLA. So definitely check him out if you're keen to find out how to do that. And I'll be probably following his guides. But wait, there's more. I have more Proto Pasta. So Bilby CNC, Lee at Bilby CNC, uh, basically I went and visited them recently and she said, oh, well Proto Pasta sent me some filament to give to people to review. And she gave them to me, so thank you, Lee. And yeah, this is high temperature PLA from Protopasta. So this is a weird material. And essentially, when you think of PLA, you think of PLA being quite soft at, at high temperatures, being quite brittle and weak. This stuff, you actually anneal once you print it and it can resist super high temperatures, like ridiculously high temperatures. So I'm really, really interested to, to test it out because it's something that I find a bit hard to believe, to be honest. So there's that one. And then this one is Silver Smoke High Temperature PLA. So these are two interesting, unique PLAs that I'm gonna be testing out and see if I can do the whole annealing process. Alrighty, and the final box. So this came all the way from Matter Hackers. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. So Mara and Matter Hackers got in touch with me and um, said if I was interested in doing some videos, she's been working a lot with Joel. And I thought, yeah, that's, that's awesome. Definitely, I would love to do some stuff for you guys. Here we go. Lots of packing, 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 packing. <laughs> Just chuck it into the room. And we have a roll of filament. This is the Matter Hackers Silver ABS. So uh, I had some Matter Hackers PLA on the way, but it got lost in translation. So I asked uh, Mara to send me some ABS instead because I tend to print ABS more on my printers and the PLA had already been reviewed by other people. So yeah, this is the silver ABS. Looks pretty nice. Again, it's kind of got that metallic sheen to it, which is cool. Definitely good for some space age prints. But the big daddy is at the bottom. Da, 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 da. That's right, guys. This is the Matter Control T10 multi-touch tablet 3D printing interface. So with this bad boy, you can slice directly at your printer. You can control your printer remotely. You can get SMS and email notifications as your print progresses. You can take photos of your print as it's, as it's progressing, all from the machine itself, instead of having to have an SD card at a computer and take it across, or having to tether a main PC to your, to your printer for a very long period of time. This is like an all-in-one solution. And it's a nice big tablet. It's a, it's a 10 inch, so it's actually quite substantial. Really, really neat. So cool. I'm so keen to test this out. So thank you so much Matter Hackers for sending this through. I'm going to be doing it, giving it a really thorough review. And from what I've heard, it's gonna be a really, really good one. All right guys, well that's the unboxing sorted out, but there's two other things I'd like to talk about. You might recall I got a craft bot sent to me quite a while ago, and I have been testing it out, but unfortunately it seemed that the lead screw on the Z-axis got bent, possibly during shipping. What's awesome is the CraftBot guys were super, super fast at fixing this and sending me a new lead screw, which I fitted the other day. And the results I'm getting off the machine now are phenomenal, like really amazingly good. There is no issues, no deviation in the Z-axis at all. And yeah, I, I am very, very, very impressed with it. So there'll be a CraftBot review coming up this Saturday. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for that if you don't want to miss it because it's it's a nice machine and it's all the way from Budapest, which is really unique. That's the craft bot. And then I teased this thing on my last video about 3D printing off on shape. And I did say it was a bad clue. It is a pretty bad clue, but what is it? Well, basically this is the Commura Articulum from, from 4 Mule 8 on Thingiverse. And he uploaded this design. There's a few sort of trailer bike designs, but this one was uploaded with the idea of uh, assembling, but also he had this STL of it, all assemble, of it all like this in the STL file. I'm not sure it was intended to be printed like this, but I thought, what the hey, I'll give it a shot. No supports, and it printed like that. What printer did I print this on, you may ask? Well, my friends, this was printed on the Rigibot 2. So I have got a Rigibot 2 I've been testing out and yeah, that's, let's take a closer look at it because I'm really quite impressed with it. Alrighty guys, so this is the Rigibot 2. So as I said, I'm really impressed with it so far. I'm doing a lot of testing on it uh, for Rigibot and you know, if, you, if you're familiar with the original Rigibot, it had this sort of, this, this steel, I think it was steel uh, tube section design 
Well, the, the Rigibot 2 has an aluminium extrusion design, just as rigid, you know, lives up to its namesake. And the print volume is, is huge. It's uh, 254, 254, 254 for the price point at the moment of about 700 US, which is really crazy. There's, there's the option to grab the LCD screen. Definitely get the LCD screen. Uh, I've been using that to interface with it and it works really well. Uh, it's driven by a USB stick. So you just load your G-code into it. Uh, they, they've partnered up with Simplify 3D, so you can, I think if you get the LCD, you get Simplify 3D with it, which is quite cool. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. Going to be testing it a lot more before I do a full, a full review. But yeah, that's the Rigibot 2. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video on Maker's Muse. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot by clicking the link there. And also, I do have a Patreon where you can support the channel per month. It's completely optional, but if you're interested, you can also check that link out. So I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's News. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Thank you.